This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. Here we're going to cover how to edit the Parallels DAS golden image. The golden image is the template which is used as the basis of all the desktops you will utilize within Parallels DAS. Maintaining it and keeping applications up to date will be a common admin task. Doing so is straightforward. On the golden image menu we can see the last edit date of the golden image as well as an edit button. Selecting edit initiates the golden image VM to start. This process will take a few minutes to complete as the virtual machine starts and authenticates. We've accelerated this process in the video. As the image is starting, we can see that there is a user session active and that this user is still able to work during this process. Once the golden image has successfully started, you're free to update it as you need. In our case, we're going to install the WinZip application suite. We run the setup in the usual way. This makes it straightforward for existing desktop administrators to use. Then we check everything to make sure the application functions correctly. For the user within the session that we left running, they can continue to work, but the new changes will not be visible to them just yet. Once the changes are made, at the top right, an administrator has two options to discard and to revert to the previous golden image or to save and exit the golden image. We're gonna choose save and exit here. Once we've done that, the changes are being committed to the golden image and it is then saved and powered off. Again, this takes a few minutes and we've accelerated this process once more. And now that the changes to the golden image have been made, we can see that the status information is updated with the new edit date and time. From now on, new apps and desktops launched will contain the changes made, but existing desktops that were running before that update was made will not. So we'll sign out of the current desktop session and then simply launch a desktop session again. Now we've signed in again, we can see that the changes are visible for the user and they could work with the new applications installed. This concludes our video on how to work with the Parallels DAS Golden Image. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the TechBytes series.